Oh no, don't eat diapers. It says eat. It's a diaper. Keep towering. We're in 42 seconds. I'm a little bored now. Hi, this is Dr. Sadia Chima. I'm a public relations expert and I'm gonna take you through some of the commercials of Super Bowl 2022. Hope you have fun with it. Wait, if it was delivered with Uber Eats, does that mean I can eat it? Mm. This cannot taste fine. And thanks to Uber Eats, we don't even know what food is anymore. <laughs> this isn't food. <laughs> it is a good take on we can't message appeal. It's no, humor. We, can't eat we like humor. Why? How far do you want to drag it? Why? That bag's a liar. I have mixed feelings about this one. They did a wonderful job with the messaging. The message is clear. Um, you do know that Uber Eats is delivering almost everything. But um, I guess the problem is, lies when you just tell people that you can eat everything and anything. People sometimes go way beyond finding something funny, um, which could uh, be dangerous, um, like the Tide Pod Challenge. So um, clear message, um, use of humor, uh, great. But um, we have to think about consumer protection, so. No thanks. I, I don't love Jim Carrey. Have Verizon 5G internet. Reminds me of my generation. 5G ultra wideband. It's way better. I see. So somehow your home is connected to the on Verizon's ultra fast 5G network. You're wireless. Without miles and miles of this. Mm -hmm. Yeah right. Mm -hmm. Yeah right. Wait. I wonder if Cable Guy here reminds me of some sort of like a serial killer. There, there's, there's tons of movies out there. So it's, I feel like they're trying to use that, that fear. But let's move sure. on. Whoa. They must have locked you in a credit contract. We see the product. The product is com compact, convenient. Um, the user can install it. Can, you know, that's great. You don't need a Cable Guy to do that. Nope. Hidden fees? I love them. Nope, price is the price. Going to my shop too. Price point, so they're highlighting that it's it's cheaper. Great. Going to my shop too. Runs my business. I'm gonna need to know who installed this. Me. It's plug and play. But you can have Verizon install it. Oh, so Verizon can install it. You can install it. Great. Um, product features are enhanced. Great. Reception's good. But I'll come back tomorrow and double check. No, 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 no I don't think we'll need you to come. This is great. I, I, I love this ad. You know, there are a couple of reasons. In this ad, there is a brown person. So at least I see a version of myself in there. That's great. So um, there's representation in characters, you know, product uh, characteristics are enhan enhanced or features are, you know, kind of advertised through the narrative. That's great. We have celebrity kind of highlighting that. That's also good. So we have uh, logos, which is, you know, reasoning. You have to think about consumer as being informed. They, they know their needs. They want to be able to do things on their own. So they have capitalized on those elements as well. One of the critiques I have for the Verizon cable guy ad is that, you know, there is an African-American guy sitting on the couch. Um, apparently, you know, maybe he's living with, uh, with, the, with the girl who opens the door, um, but he's used as a prop, you know, uh, and that's a big, big critique of advertisements. And um, in advertising history, there's a huge conversation around that you cannot use people of color as props. So he seems to be just sitting there. He's not adding to the narrative. You actually see him in two different frames. Um, but then again, you know, if you want to show diversity, then use it to your advantage. Uh, I guess that's one of the biggest critiques of, of this uh, of this ad. All right, there is a barcode that just moves across the screen. Just like when technology is sleeping, you see something on the screen just hovering around. It keeps going. You're in 15 seconds and it still keeps going. All right, you want people to scan the barcode. That's definitely the message. So in advertising, I guess, you know, you'd have to think about the different types of consumers. Um, they're probably trying to make sure that a lot of people 
scan the barcode. Um, there are people who are innovators that will definitely instantly scan it. And there are others who are just laggards who wait for their friends or peers to kind of scan something and then they'll follow lead. Um, so I guess they're tapping on to that very important essence of advertising. Keeps hovering, we're in 42 seconds. I'm a little bored now. So there is monotony. And the ad is done. So there is monotony in the ad, of course. Um, it, you know, the only thing happening is the barcode moving around. Um, one thing that happened after the ad was that a lot of people just scanned the barcode and it crashed their app. If your brand really believed in the idea itself and wanted to capture at least maybe 1%, just a million people, and your your website just crashes, then that's a lost cause. All the advertising revenue is just down the drain. You didn't believe in the idea as a brand yourself. You could have done so much. I think they could have really tapped into something very interesting through this ad. It was a good idea. Oh, nice. Max, nice. Mr. Gray's coming back this week. All Maybe right, they sh do show a parking lot, Not but in people are dressed in ancient Max, costumes. There's, of course, an ancient this reference here, some sort of historical ever. drama, whatever, dramatization. Oh, well, they showed the Bills fans reference there. Somebody just crashed onto a table. They call them barbaric. Hater when they come to town. Well, tough. We drove for three months with our kids in an ox cart. Just to wow. watch you get destroyed. Yeah, we made great time. <laughs> We are 32 seconds into the ad. It's a little boring. Um, they keep going with the narrative. I'm sorry. I'm confused as a consumer what kind of story or dramatization this is. I only see costumes and all the other references are just just over my head. Um, oh, so avocados from Mexico will solve a problem? If that's what I'm known for, I'll be happy. Avocados from Mexico. Avocados from Mexico. Um, they tap, they use the ancient times as a reference point, as a dramatization, a very old school way of attracting consumer uh, consumers. Um, it, it probably worked back in the day, but if you want to engage Gen Z, you have to use pop culture references to do that. And then secondly, you know, the the reference to Bills fans, it can go either way. It, it can have a flip side. You know, some people might take it as a point of pride while others might, you know, get offended. We do see the product. The product is there. The product is solving a problem, but I don't necessarily see the problem showcased in an authentic way to grab consumers' attention. So I think the narrative is too sloppy. People with darker complexions have always struggled with having good lighting. Every I totally agree. I'm a brown person and a lot of times camera just doesn't capture my skin. I'm just a black dot. Every single yearbook photo of mine has been terribly shot since I was a kid. I always show up as too dark or shiny. Cause so if true. you love me, you love all of me. Everything the light touches. Oh, baby, give me light touches. This is awesome. It's bringing in the diversity of America. This is great. We're seeing people of all colors here, and they're visible. This is perfect. This is clear messaging, clear messaging, um, talking about the benefits of this new spec. Um, it'll bring out the color in you. Um, you're not a hidden person anymore. That's great. It's it's appealing to the emotions. Um, I'm emotionally engaged and moved. Um, as a person of color, if a camera can capture me and my essence, I think that's great. So definitely we see um, pathos over here, emotions, and then Lee reasoning, you know, this is logical. We we want to be seen. Camera should be able to capture us. Why not? So that's great. I think Google did a wonderful job. If any of these topics interest you and you liked the video, check out classes at SUNY Brockport.